Great Drammers, today I'm doing a trio of whiskey reviews. These beautiful uh, guys right here, the Dewar's Double Double uh, releases, and it's uh, Double Double Aged for Ultimate Smoothness is the description. And we've got the 21 year old small batch, 27 year old small batch, and the mother or daddy, whichever, the 32 year old small batch. Um, and they've taken it through a unique four step aging process. Uh, to, to actually get to this level of ultimate smoothness. Um, Dewar's itself is actually uh, double aged for extra smoothness anyway. Um, and this is double, double aged, if that makes sense to you. Um, so let's start with the 21. So to explain the unique four stage uh, blending process and aging process to get to be double, double aged. Uh, they've got a lovely little graphic on here. Um, this is inspired by AJ Cameron, uh, Dewar's first master blender. Um, uh, back in 1901, he created this process. And so effectively, stage one is having single grain whiskies, aged in oak casks, obviously. Single malt whiskies, aged in oak casks, yes, for 21 years. Uh, stage two, uh, you blend all the grain whiskies together, blend all the malt whiskies together, and have them aging further. Uh, stage three is blending all the grain and malt whiskies together. And then uh, the stage four is where they describe it as this meticulously blended whiskey is finely aged in sherry casks. The Dewar's Double Double aged for ultimate smoothness, 27 year old, finished in Paolo Cotardo sherry casks. Um, now, let's have a go, shall we? Look at that. Four stage uh, aging process again, as mentioned um, previously. Uh, stage one, the grain and the malt whiskies uh, are matured in casks separately. Then they're blended, so you've got blended grain, blended malt, and stage three, you blend them all together. And stage four, you finish them in a different sherry cask. This one being Paolo Cotardo, which you don't often see, although I do happen to have a bottle of a Craig Ellicky single cask, uh, also owned by Bacardi, who I'm Dewar's, uh, which was finished in that 17 year old. Um, Paolo Cotardo for me, is, is, it can be very strange, can be weird, can be amazing. And it's one of those that you don't really hear often, but when you do, you think, huh, I've got to try that because it's different. Now, well, Yeah, you can definitely get that sherry influence. Uh, you've got a, a little bit of the um, uh, the cask influence and the wood, definitely prominent on those. Uh, smells even, uh, nose is even really slightly smoky, but I know it isn't. A little bit perfumed, uh, margin, there's a slight floral note on there. Hmm. That's just nose very nicely as well. Um, definitely different from the Oloroso sherry cast finish. Um, that's because it's not as uh, as kind of biscuity and nutty and on the dried fruit side of sherry. It has got even a slight. Um, oh, I don't know how to describe that. There's a slight uh, like cheese fondue note going on there as well. Uh, you know, you smell the really lovely cheese. You just want to shove your bread into that kind of thing. Very good. Mm. Wow, that's different. Um, very, very nice. Very different. Very citrusy. Very dry. Wow, that's a dry sherry finish on that. Um, I welcome dryness. Actually, you don't often get uh, such a dry finish on a whiskey. A very interesting comparison to the 21. Um, oh, I like that. That lemony, that, that kind of, almost like juicy lemon citrus there as well, and lime and a bit of sherbet, like a whole world of citrus coming to life. Mm. Oh, tell you what, double, double age for extra smoothness. It is smooth, tons of flavor. Beautiful citrus character to this. Didn't expect that whatsoever. Mm. Really juicy. The finish has a slight spice to it. It's just super smooth. Uh, silky smooth even um, on the finish. Oh yeah. You can tell I'm enjoying it. I hope so. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, 
That is fantastic. And I mean, the to have Paolo Cotardo cast, as we said earlier, not one you see very often. Uh, but when you do, you think it's going to be weird and wonderful. Let's have a go, as mentioned. But for it to work so well and to get such a such a different flavour profile, but still related and still that lovely harmony that blends have um, and they're related to each other in different ages, different finishes, that kind of thing. That signature Jewish flavour profile comes through. That honey note, that citrus note is amped up to the max on the 27. Um, that's really, really quite impressive. 